So this is just a quick video about the Ford F-150 Lightning. There's a lot of confusion about what people think this truck is made for. A lot of people are bad mouthing it because it doesn't haul travel trailers, it doesn't haul loads for a long distance. That's the biggest bash that people are talking about on this truck. The problem is this truck was never designed for hauling, you know, across the country. It was it's an F-150. If you need something to haul across the country, you buy a three-quarter ton or a one ton if you're hauling something for a long distance. Another problem is, you know, true, F-150s and the, you know, 1500 class of the Chevys and the Dodge, these things can haul, you know, RVs for, you know, weekend warrior type uh, trips. So F-150s and Chevy 1500, you know, Dodge uh, Rams, these things can be used for travel trailers but if you're gonna buy you know one of these for a travel trailer buy the gas one because this is not designed for that this f-150 lightning is designed for work it's designed for farm use it's designed for uh, being a work truck you know local town uh, doing work type things and let me give you an example of these things so here's a great example this thing can power your entire uh, station when you're at a work site. You don't need a generator. You can actually power your entire system. You know, run everybody's saws. You can do it all from this. Charge it up at night, and then, boom, you can, you know, power your entire work site. That's what this truck is made for. And this truck does that great. So that's one of the things this truck is designed for. This is something this truck is not designed for, even though, you know, the sales pitch, they do the, you know, four-wheel drive, off-roading. This truck is not made for that. This truck weighs way too much. When you're going off-roading, weight, tire size, and how much ground clearance. That's your main things. And this truck, you can't do anything with the weight. This truck weighs a ton, and you can't reduce it. This truck is not designed for off-roading, even though, you know, this part of the sales pitch is off-roading, it's marketing, but it's wrong. This truck is not designed for off-roading. This truck, like I said, it is designed for work, for being a work truck or for being a local around town truck. Um, you can do trips, you know, as long as you're not hauling something, you can, um, you can haul a boat with it. I mean, you, you can haul certain things and... The problem is you're not going far with it. You know, this truck was never designed to go, you know, over 200 miles away. This truck is just not designed for that. It's designed to haul it for, you know, a close area. But, like I said, it's not designed for far. Mainly, like I said before, this truck is designed to work. This truck is not designed to haul a travel trailer. If you're hauling a travel trailer with this, you really can only go a couple hundred miles at the most and and it's dead you know probably 150 miles and the truck's dead so it is not designed for travel trailers it is designed to be a work truck you know you can haul everything in it it's a ford f-150 you can do your construction stuff it costs you zero dollars in gas so you're saving a ton of money i know the electric costs but the electric you know is way way cheaper than what gas costs are so you know you can run your construction fleet with this and save a ton on gas and because these things start you know pretty decent on price you can run you know your entire fleet with these things save a lot of money it has a trunk that's a frunk uh i love this thing this thing is huge you can lock up your tools so instead of having a toolbox in the back that's sucking up valuable bed space you got your toolbox in the front. This is genius, but like I said, this is a work truck. You can now lock up your stuff in the front. You don't have to have a toolbox in the back sucking up your bed. You can still use your bed for, you know, plywood, drywall, whatever you need, and lock all your tools up in the front. I love this too. And I'm sure they're going to be designing uh, front, you know, toolboxes for these things. So I love this too. Or at least toolbox, you know, bins. This is another thing that, like I said, this truck is made for work. It's made for farm type work. And it's made for 
in the rural areas, electricity sometimes can go out. You know, you don't have these guaranteed great lines. You know, you got trees blocking them. So electricity can kind of go out in the rural areas. And this truck can power your house for three days. So if you get a power outage, say a tornado came through, knocked some lines down, your house is out for three, four days. Four days, you're kind of out of it. But three days, this is going to power your house. So that's what this truck is made for. Like I said before, this truck is a work truck. It is not designed for hauling a travel trailer. It is not designed for hauling something across the country, you know, taking a load and hauling it across the country. It's not designed for that. And that's the problem is uh, a lot of marketing, they push it as this. You know, you can haul things, you know, across, you know, wherever. You can haul a travel trailer. It's just not designed for that. And I think if the marketing team would push their sales pitch towards what this truck is designed for, this truck would get a better look out there uh, because of the bad, you know, the, oh, it doesn't do travel trailers, it's junk. No, it is not junk. It is designed for work. It is not designed for off-road. I think they need to quit saying it's an off-road truck. It's made for farm off-road. You know, you can take this across the farm and you're totally fine. Like I said, off-road use is farm related only. It's not go into big mud bogs. It's a work truck. So as long as people know that this truck is just a work truck, then people will understand why they built this truck. 